Okay, what's up guys? Well, let's go back here and today I was given a very 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 interesting Evolve Shaman list and it gets to play the new uh, Baroness Vosh um, Which looks like a really sick card to be playing if I'm not I'm not gonna lie uh, There is one thing I want to do and that is there's a hero portrait that I prefer a little bit better than Brukan in Evolve Shaman and that would be the Raw. I mean, it evolves. It, 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 they fit together. That's that's all I can say. <laughs> uh, I love I love the, the. I just genuinely love this card. I think this card is super super sick and also a lot of fun to play with. So, with that being said, how about we queue up the first game and let's see how it goes. I have no idea why Shadowwalk is in this list, but I like it, and that is half the reason I want to play it. <laughs> Shadowwalk and Sire. I did think about cutting the Sire for a Mogu. Which I think might, st uh, you know, I actually think that is correct. Um, because I don't think you're gonna get that much sire value out of this deck in general. Like maybe for like eight, but I think if I'm gonna go for that, I'd rather play the two drop, uh, Astler. I should probably find space for. And a quick look: is there anything I can cut for Astler? Welcome. why not all right a couple modifications but i think the deck is going to work a little bit better this way so how about we queue up the first game and hopefully get to meme on some people all right guys yeah that being said i'll see y'all there all right first matchup is a priest not sure what priest this is but we don't want shutter walk in our opener i'm gonna keep the evolve because we are playing arena thought lists, there are very few evolve cards in the deck because there's only so many you can play. So there's evolve, there's the muck pool, there's thrall, and then there's the weapon. So keeping one, I feel like is the safest bet I have. So I'm gonna go with it. So it could be aggro, could be control. Both of those decks currently play 30 cards and a Benedictus, unless you're a psychopath like me and you play the Dragon Raza Priest list. Which honestly, that deck was so much fun yesterday. I enjoyed it a lot. Looks like it's Control, which interesting. I have that on two, then Primal on three. So the spell I wanted to hit, but I'll take it. I'm hoping here to hit a decent four drop. Because honestly, my hand right now is not. I mean, I guess I go for it, right? Might as well go for it. That was pretty good. Four mana. What is that? Six, eight, eight, twelve in stats. I've got plenty of mojo to go around. That's fine. Blood suffering. Belly gets a copy of spell in my hand. Okay, these are all not bad. Uh, if he does copy this. Is it spell or card? Copy or card. So he could hit. I statistically hits these one ones, which I mean is not really good for him. And then I get value out of these. Hopefully he doesn't hit like this, and he only hits like one of these. But that's really really good for him. Unfortunate. All right. Do I want a whole bunch of two drops? I can just draw cards here. <laughs> this is really good. Blood and I'm not going to attack here. I want to do evolve this. So I'm going to wait a little bit to do the attack. I think it's fine to do that that way. Not the best, but it works. That, 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 that. Uh, 
Let's see if we can hurt. Our gift of the arcane enlightens us. Interesting. Value. <laughs> All right, let's see if he has the psychic scream. If he has a psychic scream, I concede. <laughs> like, there's no coming back at this point for me. All right, that's not psychic scream. Uh, that's basically a, that's worse than psychic scream. So unfortunate. What can you do though? This is just gonna get eaten, but I want to clear out a little bit of space in my hand. Next time, I'm gonna probably go this into this, and then do this on ten, this on uh eleven. Hopefully, potentially hit the second macaw. He's played as one of rat. Fine. Fine. I guess I'll I'm fine with this. And then I die. I evolve whatever dies to this hero power. What does he mean? Yeah. Okay, well. I don't know how this works with Astlor, if I'm being honest. So, yeah, that is a thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 plus 14 is not quite lethal. I don't have a way to deal damage to my own guy, do I? No, not that I can... Not that there is in this deck. Uh, okay. Oh well. I also do have a lot of health, so I'm not too worried about his Aslor. I only really have to worry for a Psychic Scream. That is a Shadow Spell, right? I'm not tipping. Force the Reno this turn. That's our play. God. Easy game. Statistically, we got there. Statistically, it was 5-5-4. Five, five, so, we did it. The Vault Shop is so good. Definitely not just Astlor being Astlor with Makoff. No, 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 no. It's a Vault Shop is so good. Uh, Alright, let's uh, queue up the next one. All right, Secret Mage. I was hoping not to hit this matchup. I always hate hitting this matchup. This is not bad. These are, these are actually fairly decent. Not gonna lie. I'll just keep this whole hand. Between hero power, ice fishing on two to get an answer to the board, having coin and whatnot, it should be fine. Play this on four, or most likely this on five. Hopefully for no objection. 
No objection though of the other cards. Really good draw. Okay. Anyways, um, by the way, before we dive too much into this, I'm gonna. I'm, I hope everyone has a beverage. Uh, I'm currently drinking myself a nice Coke. Yo, recently the grocery store near my place where I where I go get my my soda from, uh, like had a sale where you can buy like bottles of like 710 mils instead of getting cans for like the same price like 24 bottles of two times the size of a can for the same price as 24 cans i'm just like bro that's value uh yeah i mean very unfortunate very very unfortunate this is what i evolved into Uh, hopefully no secret. You could always hope for no secret. Really, you don't take that free trade? I don't, I'm not a fan of doing that. Not we taking the free trade. My coin get countered. No. That is not the best evolve I've ever seen in my life. Not gonna lie. So now, are we hoping for explosive ruins or are we hoping for another one? Objection is much harder to beat. I would, ideally I draw two drop, right? Or I draw schooling. Schooling or a two drop. They're like the two best draws in my deck. Uh, it could be counter spell. Your signature is required. required. Yeah, two drop is the best case scenario. Beautiful. He can discover some more dudes. Do I want to draw more cards? I kind of want to do draw more cards. Let's make magic. magic. That's beautiful. He's gonna probably play another secret, which I mean I'm gonna have to try and play around. But it's it's starting to get hard to play around secrets because I don't have cheap minions in hand and whatnot. So if he doesn't play, okay, so he played a secret. My guess is that's another explosive runes if I had to guess. I have to guess. Am I okay with guessing if explosive runes? I mean, let's start with this. That's pretty good. Blood and plunder. Those rigged fair games? The house of our but I am undying. From the I could have attacked them other dudes, but this is after a minion attacks your hero, so attacking my face would not trigger it. And I was a little bit worried that it could be Flame Ward and then I'd lose my board and my evolve would be awful. So I was I was trying to play it a little bit safer. Um, I think I... <coughs> sorry. I do believe I succeeded in playing a little bit safer there. So I'm glad with that. My next turn is filthy because I can go this into this into this into this. It'd be super, super far ahead. What does this do? That's what I'll give him. Random friendly minion plus one plus one. Okay. So I'd lose these. So it's gonna probably trade here. Punch face. Maybe trade into something else. Okay, so I can do trade, trade, punch face. I think that's the right call. Oh, I miscounted. Whoops. Uh, yeah, let's just do this. Let's 
they're all kind of awful. I wanted to get a taunt minion. I, you know, I can't believe that I missed on so many taunt minions in a row, and then all my minions were like really small. Unfortunate. I just lose my entire board here. You got so unlucky there. What can you do? This is counter, I just lose the game. Can you do? Unfortunate. Missed on taunt minions, missed on decently statted minions. Okay. Sometimes lucky? An incredible discovery. Um. An incredible discovery. Yeah, skill. I think I, I'm winning this game because my opponent had a skill issue. He failed to take into account just high roll. Don't know why you'd make that mistake. Personally, I try to avoid making that mistake. Um. I want to evolve my board, but I feel like that's an awful idea. Because technically, if I do evolve my board, I can get cucked by a couple cards, so... I'd rather play a little bit safer and not do it. Just pray for no, uh... Yeah, I just... Is that ice block? I put him down to one here. Oh my god, I have to do it. The time has come to throw our former master. Who knows what secrets? This is this is a terrible idea. Oh my opponent died somehow. I don't know how. Or I died somehow. <laughs> Oh, that's how. I I had to play the shutter walk. I just had to. I couldn't not. You know what I'm saying? It was a draw for turn. It cost one. Uh, I, I'm too good at this fucking game, man. It doesn't make sense. How how did I get so good? I don't even know why I'm still playing. I'm clearly better than. Uh. Anyways. <laughs> Let's uh let's just kill the next game. The Lich King. Will serve me in death. All right, Death Knight. I will bring freedom to the whole uh, Cordo Creeper is really really good, especially in the opener. I will mold the Dread Corsair because I don't have an evolve. Yeah, that's really really good. This could be like a fairly early. Um, so one of the things is. Costs one less whenever a minion dies. It doesn't have to be a friendly minion. So his hero power dying makes my guy grow. Or get cheaper or whatever. So, yeah. Although, it's looking like it's blood. Which might be a little bit harder to beat. But, still. Desert hair is not a bad draw at all. I'm gonna leave that up. There's no point in me not leaving that up here. I'd rather evolve the, the Dejaneer next turn. It's just slightly better. Hopefully it draws Evo. Evolve is a nature spell, right? Yeah. So he draws Evolve, the main uh, elemental of the deck is this one, which draws us a weapon next turn, which is really, really good. Cooling is not a bad draw. Always second schooling. Ah, yes. I remember this card used to be broken in Arena. 
everyone used to be playing this card in arena it was just such a good tempo card it's fine this is at one now after he eats it it goes to the one he trades into here i play schooling i had to kill it this costs like two Taunt is also not bad here. Alright. And we just have to be play patient, right? We're gonna get an 8 drop next turn. I can't I I'll be honest, I can't spell Sinchari. That that word sounds like there's a lot of uh, syllables in it, and uh, I'm not good at that. <laughs> ah. Alright, so here we actually have a very interesting play where we can do this. This. That's pretty good. I like those type of evolves. Eat my eat my eight eight. Give me give me a four or five and a seven drop. I'll take it. Don't, don't mind me. <laughs> Man, Evolve Shaman is such a good meme. I, I, think I've, I think I've told the story last time or the before last time I played this deck. Um, I have a friend that... Uh, I, I kind of got him into playing Hearthstone like way back when Frozen Throne first came out. So the Evolve stuff was first coming out with Thrall and I believe Evolve is also from Frozen. That's from Whispers. Well, anyways, when Evolve Shaman was first starting to like blow up in popularity, and he loved the deck. And the thing is, the decks I would play would always lose to Evolve Shaman. I don't know. I just bit my lip. Me dead. But yeah, the decks I would play would always lose to Evolve Shaman, even on ladder. This is a seven drop. Legitimately thought this was a four mana creature, but of an arena. Um. But yeah, so my friend would always. Um, would always play. He's just gonna eat this, and I'm gonna get cocked. Oh no, this is friendly. Thank God. Um, but yeah. So my friend would always play Evolve Shaman, and I would never be able to beat him. And for the longest time, I hated this deck for that sole reason. The sole reason I could never beat my friend playing it. Nowadays, I don't. I'm not. I don't hate it nearly as much. I genuinely find this deck actually fun as shit to play nowadays. Um. But yeah, for the longest time, I hated this deck because I just could never seem to beat it. And now look at me, I'm playing the deck and I'm doing exactly what I hated back in the day. <laughs> Scamming people. I do not deserve to win that secret mage game at all. I RHG'd an 11-11, that made my whole hand cost one. Only reason I won that game. Uh, uh, I mean, what can you do? It happens, right? But yeah, that's, that's just silly to me. <laughs> this hand is really good. We got finally evolve. We have extra evolves here. We have three really good evolve, or yeah, three really good evolve turns. We got this, which is like hard for him to deal with. Even if he gets like a board wipe or like he can't BGH this, so it's gonna have to be another kill. So I'll probably siphon is my guess. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the the best answer for this is siphon or like earth shock or silence or hex. I completely forgot that hex is an actual card. Uh, all right. So I can trade, 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 play the hair. Do I trade, trade? Pick me, pick me. No, I just go for the hair into weapon. Yeah, just hair, weapon. I can do this trade so I can evolve this, which is significantly better. So not miss the three damage. This ain't bad. <laughs> There's so many cards here I haven't seen in forever. I haven't seen this card in forever. I haven't seen this one. This one I still play on the occasion. This card, this card used to be so broken. Everyone used to play this card. Especially in Arena, this card was nuts. No, it was, it was in a couple standard decks when it first came out. A 
one's fine. No. We have uh, this into this. I mean, if he has another board wipe, he has another board wipe. There's nothing I could realistically do. You have to have the second corpse explosion. The second corpse explosion does just wipe my board. So. Fine. Oh, is that rainbow DK? Is that in his deck? No, that was discovered. Okay, so it is actually just blood. That's a two blood. I just have yet to see a three blood, that's why, or card of another type. Yeah. I do have a way to refill my hand, which is really important here. Down to one corpse. I don't have to worry about corpse explosion at the moment. Oh, he's up to three corpse. This is still a lot of damage. Six. Also, this would survive. Uh. Do I want to evolve this? Kinda. I gave him a target. Sucks. Oh, this isn't seven shit. It sucks that I gave him two targets between this and this, but for his weapon. Maybe I should have waited. There's no corpse explosion wipes. Oh well. What can you do? Can you feel that oh no, it is it is a mix. What the hell is this card? The minion is frozen. Destroy it. Oh, I've actually never seen anyone play this card, but this card is kind of sick. He's dead on board though. So you're gonna let me see what's in the box. You are prepared. Oh, oh, he doesn't. Now let me see what's in the next box. So I draw some cards and maybe play something else that's in this dude's. Punch him in the face. Well, put him to four, then punch him in the face. Hey, and we're ranked Shutterwalk. Let's go. That's really cool, though. Uh, I've never seen anyone play the um, new Sindrago, so that card, that card looked pretty solid. I just don't know if it's worth you lose out on the best late game finisher for control decks so i don't quite know how i feel about that but hey anyways um we do but we don't screw it we'll play one more game uh yeah we'll play one more game because i want to all right guys yeah so let's queue it up and i'll see y'all there all right can we scam another one I want to mull this, but I realistically shouldn't. Screw it. I just believe I'm gonna draw ice fishing. Then the game is easy. I didn't draw ice fishing. The game is hard. Uh, we have pool on one. Hopefully we draw ice fishing for two. Four, we coin this out. Five, we play. Hopefully two, drop into this. Evolve. Wipe his board. It's secret mage, just one one drop in that deck, and if he hits it, it's really, really hard to win. Oh no, it's quest mage. Okay, quest mage, we have a little bit more time. We could play a little bit more aggressively if you'd like. He plays with me two, three, four. If he has an answer to the hair on three, he has an answer to the hair. Well, he just shuffled his eye. Okay, we also drew this back up. Oh, Peron. Peron is also such a cool card. I love this card. I miss playing decks that played it. Kinda wanna try building one. Maybe I do. There used to be a couple really cool decks that played that card. If he doesn't kill this, this turn, the play is coin thrall. If he does wipe, the play is coin weapon 
and single evolve with my location. Where's the ice fishing? The play here is just single evolve. Okay, well. We evolved that because we don't want it to die to his weapon. Or to, not to his weapon, but to his hero power. Uh, next turn it's gonna be doppelgangster attack. Get some six drops. Hopefully have that be good enough. I'm worried that I'm still gonna just find a way to die on six. I'm really, really worried about that aspect. That's fine. These are some pretty solid minions. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be attack at the thrall next turn. And just hope that's good enough. Got a whole bunch of seven drops, or eight drops and a seven drop. Or no, are these, these are all six drops, right? Six, six, six. Yeah, they're all six drops. Top decking that frost nova is really, really good for him. I can go for this here, I guess. I wish I had the ETB of this one. You cannot my he hit both Ice Block this turn and Frost Nova. What can you do? Two spells he discovered still. Wow, those were awful devolves for me. I don't want to get I don't want to get 11 drops Is there's now the 5-4 that's an 11 drop So I have to leave it like this That's really bad Really unfortunate for me We're going to play the game of We're going to try to kill off our own Hakar And hopefully have that be good enough Didn't poly this Really Unless you're holding a second polymorph I don't get that Because I can try to kill you through her car is a thing. I don't have any more mass evolves in my hand, so. Because I don't think you beat Ice Block unless I could connect with this Hakar. And then I still need the Hakar to die. And I don't have an easy way to kill off my own Hakar on this deck. There's no way at all, in fact, to do it. Really? He actually has the answer? That's a little bit tilting. I haven't played any good... Oh, wait, that isn't Battlecry I have played. The Thrall. Oh, this is... Oh, no, this is a 12 drop. It sucks that we didn't get a Hakar trigger. I don't know if we can still win this game. He has one spell he discovered. He needs to play two to win the game. Don't have Rat to try and pull it. What does this do? Transform all spells in your hands into ones that cost two more. Keep the original cost. Okay. That's a card, I guess. That's really good for him to RNG.
When you just RNG only perfect spells in every scenario, I mean, I guess it's good enough, right? Oh, did I burn a card? No, I didn't. Thank God. He takes an extra turn, and I know he drew a minion last turn, so I just lose the game. I lose the game to infinite turns. Fun. I can see that this deck uh, clearly went away. Uh, I'm not tilted. You guys are tilted. Oh, wait. This is a six drop spell, no? Oh, that's true. This one redoes every spell that started in your deck. That didn't start in your deck. Sorry. Put your face. Beautiful. Did you actually draw your hero portrait? Come on, I have a board wipe in hand. Start by playing this. I have to try this one. I think I have to try and win this game through fatigue. Find the horde pillager. All right, it's fine. I need him to draw more cards. This is hero portrait, but his hero portrait doesn't guarantee take an extra turn. That's fine. That's fine. The time has come to throw our former master. There's a couple really good draws in my deck, such as Devolve. That was not the draw I wanted. Board pillager is not bad. I need to try to get the devolve, I think. I think it's significantly more important. Oh, I hit the devolve, so that's pretty good. An OT taunt. Oh, that's so good. That is so good for me. Oh, okay, I have 16 corpses. Let's go. Oh, and he's playing the deck of lunacy. Okay. I'll fucks with it. The advantage I have is he's now down to six mana. And next turn I'm going board pillager plus this plus this. To fill up my board again. So the reason you play it in this order, ooh, 
I don't have taunt minions in my hand. Fetch. The reason you do it in this order, next turn I can attack and then play the Brilliant Macaw and get another weapon back. So it was the last battle cry I played. That's fine. And I win this game through Mela, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna attack. It's gonna get evolved. Evolve whatever is small. Another armadillo. Oh, we actually get value. Look at this value we just got. We, we, the guy we're gonna evolve. All right, hear me out. The guy we're gonna evolve just got plus two, plus two. I have to trade like this. A symphony of terror begins. <laughs> oh, he's just we just stacking right now. Uh, I can't believe we actually won this game, or we're at least at this position because it felt kind of hopeless. And then I remembered. Oh wait, that's true. Gray Sage Pirate's gone. He never hit his hero portrait, but I don't think it even mattered. Um, he's played so many arcane spells that it's like a one in like six to hit. If he hits, he takes one additional turn. If he misses, he's probably, he gets to the same position he's in now, so. Yeah, I feel like I played that very, very well. <laughs> also, I mean, of all Shaman, just good deck. Ooh, I played a whole bunch of infused cards apparently. But yeah, no, Evolve Shop, this deck actually felt really, really strong. I know we didn't necessarily hit the most meta decks. What did we hit? We hit Raza Priest, which was probably our closest match. No, we hit Secret Mage, which was our closest matchup. Raza Priest was still like 50-50. Then we hit Two Blood, One Frost, DK, which the game was also still pretty good. And then the Modern Day Quest Mage. And honestly, this deck felt really, really strong. I have to admit... We did a little bit of high rolling. I won't lie. I, I'm not going to lie. We did some high rolling. But uh, yeah, no, this deck felt really, really strong and also really, really fun to play. If you guys like those RNG decks, pick it up. It's really, really fun. Anyways, with all that being said, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, don't forget to like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys all in the next one where hopefully we can get some dubs. All right, guys. Yeah, with that being said, or actually some more dubs as we all need. All we did was win today. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, with all that being said, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.